Hello everyone, I'm back. The wind has been absolutely horrible lately, so I've been doing things that didn't require spraying paint, or at least I could spray paint in a minimal fashion. So let me give you an update. So when we left, I was having issues with the cracks. You can see I still have the cracks that were caused by incompatibility. Uh, my research just found out that this uh, primer that I used, uh, etching primer, doesn't get along with pretty much anything. So avoid it like the plague. Um, what I did was I got some of that paint and primer and sprayed it over this to get rid of some of the deep scratches. Um, I'm going to probably put a thin layer of uh, body filler on top of this and smooth it out. Uh, I've already sanded this down. It's ready to go, but like I said, couldn't spray anything, so I didn't want to just put body filler on there. On this other part, most of it was okay with no cracks. There were a couple of areas that had cracks. So what I did was I lightly misted a uh, primer on here. Again, it's not that other primer. Um, and it seems to be doing okay. So I'm gonna keep misting uh, coats on there. Uh, another thing I found out, the lacquer primer, which is what we mostly use for filling, unless you use uh, some of the more expensive stuff. Uh, the solvent that they use in lacquer is pretty aggressive and it tends to attack other paints. The other thing is if you use epoxy paint, epoxy paint takes a full 90 days to cure completely. It can dry in a couple of days, but it's not really cured for 90. So uh, one of PPG recommends not even messing with putting anything on it for 90 days. So I'm obviously not waiting 90 days. So I'm gonna to try to switch away from using uh, anything except for lacquer uh, from this point forward. All right, the next thing is uh, doing the uh, vent rail and uh, lower balance. So I had it set up uh, pretty much like I liked. Uh, now I need to make it. And so I'm going to put fiberglass on top of this. Um, I did fix this back area, sort of, using this piece of pipe. So I'm basically going to put fiberglass across here just to get the shape. And then I'll take it off and uh, get it to look exactly like I want. You can see there's little bumps there where the screws are, stuff like that. Um, I just had to leave that. Not sure if I showed uh, raising, lowering the front fender edge to where it meets with the uh, body line and having these two pieces overlap. I'll have to join that together. Uh, there's the front piece. I need to take it off and make it into a solid piece. And the, finally the door. All right. So I had the door on and I had it in two sections. I found out I could do it in one section mostly, except for the door opening, which I still have not figured out yet. So what I did was, on this edge, I made a notch. Here I made a notch. And here I made a notch. And the reason why is because this notch, I take this door, I had to take this door on and off a bunch of times. Uh, and obviously, <laughs> putting screws in and out and in and out uh, actually caused me to screw back. So, what I did was I made these notches. So, what I do is this part I push back and it goes behind the C8 door panel. And this goes in front of the C8. So, I push it up there. And then all I do is line up the bolt hole.
So what I'll do next time is I will grind the paint off of both surfaces and then put fiberglass in between here, bond these together, and then get rid of the step in both cases. I think that's it. So let's take this off. Again, all I need to take off is my flex it. So what I did was I put uh, aluminum tape on this so that when I put the fiberglass on it, it won't stick. It looks there. And then of course the door slides on me and I don't have any second. I'm trying out these headphones uh, to see if they, they have a built-in microphone. We'll see if that works. You can see this is still windy. I decided to do this in spite of the wind. All right, put this down. All right, so I've got the thin fiberglass cloth, and what I do is I put it in place, and then I tape the top edge, and I just use masking tape. So what it does is it allows me to know that that's in the right spot. So I flip it up, put the fiberglass resin uh, down like this, and then once I get the fiberglass resin, I merely make this, push this in, and form it against the part like that. So once I get this inner door part done, I will close the door, and then straighten this part out right here. So you can see that I have it set up. And by using the squeegee, I can make sure that that follows, get rid of all the wrinkles. And so that will follow the shape. Now it's not going to be strong at all. One layer of this is only eight thousandths of an inch thick, but I'm not really looking for strength. I'm just looking for the shape. And then the other thing is every place these bolts stick up, I'm going to have to cut. So what I can do is take a razor blade and because it's only eight thousandths of an inch thick and if I catch it before it hardens, I can easily cut a slot here and open it up so those bolts can stick through. All right. And then I'll have to finish the rest of that out. But that's the basic idea. I just wanted to get this to a point where I could work on it. And it's getting ready to get dark, so I wanted to get going on that. But before I got going, I'm going to show you what I worked at. The other thing is, if you look, here's the door structure right here. So if you look, I essentially cut off pretty much everything that attaches. Now they've got the factory bonding compound uh, adhesive that they use here. So ideally what I could do is come in here, cut this adhesive, remove it, and then replace this door panel with my door panel. Once I get a final door panel by making the combination of the two and then blending them together, uh, the next one I do could be a solid door panel that I literally just come in cut out the factory door panel exactly where the factory attached it in the glue spots and then replace it with my own glue. I'd have to have some kind of clamps or fixture to make sure that everything uh, stayed butted against it. Uh, but I'll worry about that when that time comes. All right, I think that's got it. So I'm gonna let you go. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the alarm and I'm going to start laying some fiberglass so I can get this going before it gets too dark. Have a great day. Bye.